What we want to start to do today is uh, write a program or a part of the program that implements the location and genre uh, updates for the edit list. And I think the best way to do this is to create a cascading menu that goes out to the side that lists all the locations in the case of location and all the genres in the case of genre. But if you've never used this type of technique before it's probably pretty overwhelming. And as I described in my uh, beginner's course to programming, the six part video, probably the best way to deal with an overwhelmingly complex program or problem is to chunk it down into manageable parts as Tony Robbins said or more specifically to programs, programming break the big problem down into a number of sub-problems and then solve these sub-problems by writing a sub-problem test program and once you, quite often when in the sub-problem test program you'll come into dead ends and you'll have to restart and whatnot but you're dealing with a simplified playing field so to speak so you can solve it as a sub-problem much easier and then once you get it to work you can reintegrate the subprogram test program either one or several of these back into the over program which is our main project program and the advantage of doing it this way is that the subprogram test program code is already debugged and hassle free you don't have to worry about it because you know it works you've already tested it independently you might have problems with integrating it back into the code especially if you're not careful with the naming conventions you use and whatnot but the code itself you know works because you've already tested it so we want to go down and uh, create a new project and we can call it a DDI test 01 and click OK and then we want to drag this form out so it's somewhat larger and drag over a uh, menu strip to the main program and here we want to be very careful to use the same names we're using in the over program so that integrating it back in is hassle free So for the top uh, menu item we want to call this change selected. And then for the item under that we want to call it location. And then the item under that we want to call it genre. And the name of this uh, top item is going to be, uh, I can select this, MS Listing Change Selected. And the one under this will be uh, darn a lot of problems with this. MSSI listing change selected location. Notice these are the identical names to what we're using in the over program. And finally the name will be MSSI listing change selected genre which basically shows all the levels the listing uh, tab page the change selected main item and the genre sub item and now the code we want to 
add isn't in the place you might suspect. We definitely don't want to double click on these and select the event handlers for clicking on these because we want a cascading menu off to the side and what we want to res want things to respond to is clicking on the submenu items cascading submenu items off to the side not clicking on these main things so what we want to do is set up these two in the form load event so double click on the form and go into the form load event and for the first test program we want to uh, put in this code first have a couple local variables called DDI item and the DDI comes from drop down items which is the uh, property of uh, or actually a collection within the tool strip menu item that we want to uh, set up with the values that we need in order to select a specific location or a specific genre. But right now the first sub problem we're dealing with is how do we create a cascading menu at all? So once we solve that problem then we'll go on to how do we create a cascading menu that actually has the correct location and genre values. And then finally we'll have how do you create an event handler that handles clicking on these uh, genre or location cascading menu sub items. So basically we have three levels of test program to do and this is the first one which is how do we just create a cascading sub menu. And basically in order to do that you assign a variable to uh, MSSI listing change selected location which is a first item under the main item. And then you do a item dot uh, drop down items clear to clear out any items that are there already and then for the test program we're just going through in a loop and uh, creating a, a string that says location and a number going from 1 to 10 and we're adding that to the drop down items uh, list with a item dot drop down items dot add and in every case that what we're adding to the drop down items add isn't just a string but it's another tool strip menu item so we have tool strip menu item log select equals new tool strip menu item and we pass to the constructor the string we want to be there and we do exactly the same thing for genre uh, it, we're using I'm actually defining it from start so I'm using item 2 so it doesn't conflict but you could reuse item if you wanted to I thought it was more self documenting to just have a second variable and once again you do a drop down items clear you create a tool strip menu item for each of the cascading menu items and you add the string to that and this is just an arbitrary string that says genre and a number and then you add that menu tool strip menu item you've created via the drop down items dot add so if we save this and uh, compile and run it we can click on change selected and then when you select location you see we have the cascading some menu items pretty cool eh? and if you move it to genre you have the genre cascading items so once again the actual sub problem test programs we want to create are one create a cascading list uh, menu item that works that creates a cascading list off to the side to associate actual database values with this list and three create event handlers to update the database based on the list selection the user makes so we've succeeded in uh, doing uh, the first sub problem test problem and it turned out not to be too bad when we broke it down into manageable parts as they say inch by inch everything's a, a cinch yard by yard it's very hard 
and the next video we'll do the next uh, subproblem test program which is associating actual database values with this list. I'll uh, see you then and I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a lot. I appreciate it if you'd subscribe.